Okay, y'all. You want to hear a funny story? It was funny to the three men that were standing around me. Not really. Um, Jerry and I had gone to Lowe's because I needed yet another bag of soil for my uh, bougainvillea, my big one. I'm getting so close, y'all. Um, and I had to get a couple of six packs to put in my front uh, big round thing because when I forgot to water them for two days, those, they didn't make it. But the other ones did. So now I've got one million dollars and one vinca. You know I don't like that. But million dollars, I could not find any in a four pack or a six pack. Okay. Um. Oh, and I got a couple of uh, one gallon containers of the fuchsia vincas, the same ones that went out in the front, because I wanted absolute beauty in um, the pots that Jerry built me. I don't think I've showed those to y'all yet, but man, oh man, oh, I just got cold chills. That man is so awesome. He's a little temperamental though. You know I'm not that way. But anyway, we were in Home Depot, and uh, I had my back turned, and we were looking at the aisle over here. And so I had uh, some um, L brackets, mm, trying to figure out how I was going to attach my trellis to my uh, beautiful, newly painted, uh, you know, things that hold my patio up. And, um, so I turned around really quick to go put those away. I told Jerry, I said, you know what? I'll walk right out with these in my hand and you'll be bailing me out of jail for shoplifting. So I turned around really fast, like I always do. Leo's always telling me, you got to slow down. Well, when I turned around, um, there was a gentleman, you know those big uh, carts, uh, metal carts, and they're for transporting things like sheets of plywood and long pieces of, you know, stuff. Well, it just so happened that he parked his uh, gizmo right behind me. So I tripped over that and fell, I mean, hard on that concrete floor on my left side. Now, the thumbnail for this video is going to be a picture of my beautiful knee swollen up like a lemon. And there was an employee standing there and the poor young guy with the cart, they just freaked out trying to help me up. And you know, I didn't want the young guy I didn't want them, they were both young. Everybody's young compared to us now, aren't they? But anyway, look how they're parked. That's a space, but I could never get parked in there. Um, anyway, um, so, you know, I got up myself. I can't believe these people have no parking spaces. Okay, I'm gonna try and park on this curb. I am, I am. It'll take me three or four tries, so y'all be patient. It's hard for me to use my left uh, wrist because y'all know that's the one I broke a couple of years ago. 
when I went to Hollywood to meet, look at this. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, don't pat your left hand. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, so the, the young guy, the employee, Terry's not near ready. I'm gonna try to answer some comments. Anyway, um, the young Home Depot employee was looking at me. He said, ma'am, do you want to, you, let's fill out an accident report. I said, sweetie, I, I don't need to do that. There was no accident except me being clumsy. I wasn't walking where I, I wasn't watching where I was walking. And the poor young man who had left his, wood sticking out behind me was just beside himself. He was so sweet. I could have taken his little face in my hands and just given him little kisses, but you know, we're not allowed to do that. And yeah, we all had our mask on. And poor Jerry was standing over here and these two guys were right here kind of hovering over me, and so he couldn't even try to get me. <laughs> Thank the good Lord I did not have a dress on because I went down on my left side and my legs went up. Y'all, it must have been uh, quite the sight. So when this young man finally left and the young guy with the wood, I swear, I bet you he thought about that all day long. But I kept telling him, sweetie, I never watch where I'm going. I said, I trip and fall at home all the time. Don't worry about it. I felt so bad for him. Um... It is good not to park your lumber and stuff right behind somebody, but you know what? Things happen. So, <laughs> Jerry goes, I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> we were laughing and cracking up. And, you know, I was feeling it just a little bit. But I did not feel my knee until I was getting in the van. I always let Jerry drive. It's so nice to have somebody else drive. And um, I bent my knee to get in the van. I went, ah! Is Jerry saying, what is wrong with you? I said, I just, I don't know. I bent my knee and I didn't like it. But it's okay, you guys. You know, the swelling is almost gone. And, of course, I have to wear Band-Aids at night because my sheets would um, kill me. And my wrist will be okay. I just have to be careful not to use it. Now, I always hold my phone in my left hand because I'm right-handed. And so I'm going like this. I had to put it on a stand. But such is life. Let's see, whatever, what else did I want to tell y'all? Oh, how are we doing? Eight minutes already. Um, the reason that, that breeze is a little chilly, which is awesome. Um, so, uh, the reason that my videos were not monetized, and I'm going to send a picture to y'all, um, is because when you are uploading, you're getting ready to upload your video. If you scroll down a little bit underneath the description that you put in, and sometimes I put something really brief because I edit that a little bit before I actually make it public. But if you scroll down a little bit, there's the button that says uh, private, public and there's somebody with a link can watch it so anyway um if you have that button set correctly then 
all of your videos that you upload will be on private. Well, somehow Einstein must have hit that button at some time. And so that's why every time I uploaded a video, it went immediately to, uh, my gosh, y'all, Craigslist, blah, 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 all this stuff going through my head. Adopt a pet, pet finder, canine rescue. Um, but that's why when you're uploading it to uh, YouTube, that it goes immediately. It needs to be set on private. And then I can change the title. I can add or take away some of the description. I can put tags. I can put it in a playlist. So, I've just been so, you know, kind of out of it that I didn't even notice that that when I was uploading videos, I wasn't editing anything. Boom, they were right there. So that's what that problem was. Now, on a video that I made, y'all were talking about background noise. What is that background noise? I had to look at where I was sitting because I thought, is Maria out there with her blower or, you know, are they doing something next door? And then I realized my little refrigerator is loud when it's running. And, uh, Jerry used to say, what is that? And I would tell him, it's my refrigerator. It sounds like Jurassic Park. So that's what that mystery is, y'all. I'm five days behind on my comments, and I am so sorry. But um, okay, I'm going to cut this off, and then there's one, maybe it's not too cool. I better have a little bit. So, I'm going to cut this off, y'all. Do something fun today. I'm here to pick up Terry. I did his laundry since the, um, if y'all could see the text that this woman sends me, uh, I feel sorry for her. I really do accept how cruel she is to Terry. And I have gotten a really good taste of that. And so has his daughter. I don't know how he's done it. I could never have put up with that. But he's frail. And he's 83. And he's afraid of her. So we're going to pick up our groceries. I finally co convinced him, let me order your groceries with mine. We'll pick them up. We'll bring them over here. We'll separate them. And, um, and then, you know, that'll be good. And then during the week, we'll have some kind of little outing. I'll go get him. He can come over, something like that. But anyway, that's what we're doing today. Uh, I don't want to say that's my fun thing, but I'm hoping to get my bougainvillea in my nice big pot today. I love y'all, and <sighs> please, please be safe. Please be safe. I won't say anything that will cause a storm. But, most of y'all know what I'm thinking. Anyway, I love every one of you. And that includes you, Mango. <laughs> Teresa, I got my mask. It's so awesome. I love it. And then I got a mystery one yesterday. Now, Karen, this must be from you. 
Y'all, there are a handful of people that have been with me forever. And they have my home address. And, um... I am not going to cry. Thank y'all so much for your love and your compassion. And now I'm going to make another video right off the bat. Bye.